If you lay ceramic pipes beneath the city, rainwater can flow away through them, preventing flooding. But in the case of a torrential downpour, if the water level rises above the drainage outlets, the floodwaters instead rush back through the pipes into the city, leaving no buildings untouched. So, you think of raising the foundations. That helps avoid the initial impact of flooding, but over time, the supporting pillars rot when soaked in standing water, eventually collapsing. To fix this, you try placing stone bases beneath the pillars. Fine for the short term, but after weeks of rain, the rammed earth foundations absorb water, soften, and deform, and the house still falls. Next, you imagine expanding the foundation platform, raising the center, and placing the house on the highest point. That way, rainwater quickly drains outward, and if collapse happens, it starts at the edges. But this still isn't safe enough, so you add more tiers, stacking two more levels to form a triple terrace. Even then, a once-in-a-century downpour sends water rushing down the steps, eroding the lower edges. No matter how many layers you build, long-term stability can't be guaranteed. How do you make the water vanish, as if into thin air? Clever as ever, you add a ring of channels around the terrace, fitted with dragon-shaped spouts. When heavy rain comes, the water is blocked from eroding the base, instead funneled into the upper inlets. As the dragon mouths open, streams of water shoot outward like arrows, spilling onto the lower terraces. There, the terrain guides the water again, tier after tier, until it is quickly carried away. In this way, the foundation is completely protected, and a spectacular sight is created, a thousand dragons spitting water. Congratulations, you've just designed the drainage system of the Forbidden City. These dragons weren't just outlets for water, they symbolized mythical beasts that commanded the rain and guarded the empire. With every storm, the spectacle of a thousand dragons spewing water displayed not only ancient engineering genius, but also people's prayers for balance, abundance, and prosperity.